Okay, now I think it's time to put the foot down. It's about Danica Gomez. Now, this girl has gone too far. She's fucked in the head. And this video is the whole dark truth about her. I don't normally make videos about this shit with my voice, but it's time. It's about to be a new year and I'm tired of the drama. Before I start this video, you guys know what to do. If you guys bash my opinion, you know that's an automatic block on my YouTube, so you already know. But here's what I'm about to say about Danica Gomez. But first of all, she's fucked in the head and she's weird. Why I say she's weird? I'm about to explain why. The first one we're about to start is cyberbullying and not leaving people alone. She has a problem with that bullshit. After we tell her to leave us alone, she wouldn't stop. Like, even if we try to give her a warning, she just keeps doing it. It's not that hard to leave somebody alone, especially if they're innocent. You fuckhead. Like, for real, you need to leave people alone. Because some people can tease you, can do the same thing towards you. Wouldn't like that too much, huh? She's fucking 15 and she acts like a woman child these days. Like, the fuck? And you're also a simp as well. I'm sorry, she acts like she's a simp and she can't get her way. She thinks everything could go her way, but in reality, it's not going to go her way. That's how much I can say to her about leaving people alone. But there's more to it. Number two, cheating. Okay. When I was in a relationship with this girl, she cheated on me behind my back. Not to mention, I literally caught her red-handed on the internet doing it. She also had this problem as well, admitting that she didn't cheat. In reality, I was in a live stream on Instagram. She cried because I called her out for her actions. I do that all the time with people that does this, these bad actions towards me. Trust me, I might be 17 with autism, but I could catch you in an act. Don't play with me. Not to mention, she also got mad at me because I called her out for her actions. I call out people for their bad actions, you know. I'm a YouTuber. I make rant videos. I make rant videos for reasons, not for stupid ass reasons. But hold up, I'm not done yet. There's more. Number three, being racist towards me. I have a screen recorded video of her saying it. I reported her ass for it. I didn't report her on Instagram, but I reported her through YouTube. I have her YouTube channel in the comments. So if you want it, link's in the description. But listen to this screen recorded video I did on my phone, over the phone, about it. Look. Daddy, nigga. What you gonna do about it, nigga? Bitch. Now see there? That's her being racist. I'm not joking. I made a rant video out of her, and I posted that screen recorded video in my rant video, as you can see. And yeah. Why are you hating on Danica Gomez? She ain't do nothing to you. Hey, who told you you could be in my video? And second of all, I can make a video out of Danica Gomez as much as I want to. She is a bad user. Now get the fuck off my video before I really do something to you. Oh, so you want to fight me, do ya? Do ya? Look, bruh, I'm not going to fight you just to be right about Danica Gomez. You're just a fan brat. I can kick your ass easily. Hey, what the heck? Hey, I was just playing. Put me down. I told you not to fuck with me. Right? Now leave! Now back to what I was saying. Danica Gomez is also a homophobic too. Because she just called me the F word as well. Me and my friend the F word. Like, are you serious? You're so homophobic. Like, I'm not gay or nothing. Like, you're just straight up homophobic. You just offended people that is in the gay side. Like, for real. And not to mention, you apologize to me. In reality, you act the same person you was before. You go back to being the innocent side. And then you turn around being the mean side. And you play the victim card all the damn time. And the innocent card. So... Whatever you got to say about that, don't even try to apologize because you know your actions have consequences. You might do something the first time or whatever, but either way, you still going to get in trouble. Not to mention, she also threatened me too by getting her friends on me, like putting me in the group chat and stuff. Okay, I don't really feel comfortable with group chats unless if it's a situation that need to be handled by me. But either way, I don't like GCs. 
Okay. So she put me in the GC with a bunch of her friends try to attack me, and I try to handle it by just telling her the truth about her. The whole ass truth about her. So sending threats towards somebody is not cool and is not going to work, especially if a grounded threat. Paper Luigi did the same thing with Boris in his intro or some shit. Like the fuck? And also, she's also a pervert too. Because she also said something about her showing her private part or, or doing some uncomfortable shit towards me. Like, what the fuck is your problem? You are so fucking dirty-minded. You are so fucking disgusting. I hope you know that. I didn't say that shit in my rant video, but I'm saying it now because this shit is the whole tr documentary truth about you. You're stupid, you're fucked in the head, and I hope your actions have consequences. You should know that by now. You're fucking 15. And you're doing this to a 17-year-old with autism that gets uncomfortable sometimes very easily with that shit. Especially if it's poor graphic. Sure, we all make mistakes at times. But the mistake that you caused was fucked up. Really fucked up. How's a 15 or 16-year-old gonna sit there and do this shit on the internet and you know you're gonna get exposed for that shit? Like, come the fuck on. Like, I don't want to hear about no weird shit on the internet, especially if it's pornographic. Like, for real. And you should get off the internet, and I'm going to make you get off the internet, too. By getting your channel terminated. I already got your channel, channel reported. So, you're fucked. And everyone, the link will be in the description to our channel. So, go check it out when you can. And Danny Gomez, if you're watching this video, I just hope that you know that you're fucked. Your part of the story that's really dirty is fucked up. Don't even try to cry about it because all this shit is true. There's no need to play the innocent card because you're a victim now. You're a criminal user and that's it. You played the innocent card too many times and now we know the real truth about you. I pay attention to a lot of shit, just know that. Don't even try to apologize because you know what's going on and you know it's wrong to do this shit on the internet. You're a pervert, which makes you a Wilson Perez wannabe and all the wannabes out there that's users. You're done. You're a criminal user now. So don't even try to change up your story, you fucking idiot. And guys, let's get up to 800 subscribers, can we? It's almost 2024. I want to hit 1K. Please. This is JQ, the Boondocks fan, 2K6 here. Like and subscribe, hit the notifications if you have it, and I will see you in my next documentary video. Peace.